As a member of the European Parliament, I often come across silly, ludicrous EU laws. Mostly I come across proposed EU legislation that seems to be a stranger to common sense. Proposed legislation that makes you wonder who is really pushing for it. An example of this is the EU e-cigarette ban. Users of the electronic cigarettes who have contacted me in their thousands about the EU cigarette e-cigarette ban. The EU's review of the Tobacco Products Directive is aimed at making smoking in all its forms less attractive to young people in order to discourage them from taking it up. The draft EU Tobacco Directive, in its wisdom, seeks to ban electronic cigarettes. This community, also known as vapors, have contacted me because they desperately do not want to see their electronic cigarettes disappear. The electronic cigarette market in the European Union in 2011 was worth 400 to 500 million euros. In the UK, by the end of 2013, almost 1 million people would have tried e-cigarettes. However, updated EU regulations governing tobacco products would ban the sale of anything with nicotine concentration of more than 4 milligrams per milliliter, and that is officially authorised as medicinal. Stop smoking aids such as patches fall within existing rules, so would not be unaffected. So would be unaffected. E-cigarettes, though, would be caught out. If the measures were agreed, they would need to pass through the long process which new drugs are certified. Processes such as these are extremely expensive and put the commercial viability of e-cigarettes in doubt. If you dig further into this story, you also learn more about the power of lobbying. The nicotine replacement therapy market was worth £117 million pounds, uh, turnover in pharmaceuticals in 2011, most given away free to quitters by the NHS. They have a business here to protect. The pharmaceutical companies first got involved in influencing world and European opinion in 1999 with the launch of the World Health Organization. Since then, companies have lobbied in favour of their products, for example, nicotine patches. It is estimated that the pharmaceutical industry spends 40 million euros on lobbying in the EU annually. Let us take a step back though, because this argument is far simpler than this. If we can for a minute forget about the lobbyists or the pros or cons of e-cigarettes, let us think for a moment who should be the ones deciding on whether the UK consumer can buy these products. Should it be our elected politicians in the UK or here in the European Parliament? I opened out this question to my followers on Twitter and the reply that I had time and time again was that laws governing the UK should be made by the UK government, not a bunch of pen pushers and bureaucrats here in the European Union. Other users said, I think the individual should be able to decide. It needs vigilance and common sense. MEPs who are allowed to openly smoke cigarettes inside the Parliament bar certainly do not practice what they preach. If our politicians are supplied with the true facts on e-cigarettes rather than the propaganda from interested parties such as pharmaceutical companies, then they can have an informed debate on the subject and make the right choice for the people of their country. This should not even be an EU issue. This should be an issue for our politicians in the UK to debate, rather than decisions on legislation behind being made by the faceless bureaucrats of the European Union. Even worse, we're not even given a say on whether we want to be part of the European Union or not. A union that is in the, ori the origin of 75% of our laws and which we pay £53 million a day to be part of. As an MEP for the We Demand a Referendum Now party, I will continue to fight until the UK is given its long overdue referendum on EU membership. At the moment, we are powerless in, in, with stories such as these. We need to change that. The people of the UK are demanding a referendum and it is about time that the politicians listen to the people. The EU Tobacco Directive and the banning of e-cigarettes is simply another reason why we need a referendum. Thank you.